panfish fishing today. Got three-way slip sinker rigs on these two rods and a slip float rig on the other rod. Working minnows on the three-way slip sinker rigs. Ooh, a nice perch. Awesome. Still ain't off the beds quite yet, I guess. So I haven't been getting much here the last couple days, but this is a good sign. They're still here. Oh yeah, that could be a solid 14 incher. It's a good perch. Skinny, but pretty long. There we go. Another fish on the night crawler. Ooh, it's a walleye. Cool. Small walleye. Last perch was a decent 13 and a half. That's like a, I don't know, in the 17, 18 range. There you go, there's something small on the night crawler again. Feels like a perch. Yeah, nice little perch. Awesome. They're still here. Yeah, last one was 13 and a half. This one's a solid 12. A nice tall back. Decent perch. And a night crawler again. Yeah, looks like a nice bullhead. That's a decent one. For sure. Not a monster, but good sized one. Oh, get him over here. Big gut on him. Nice brown bullhead. Solid 15 incher. Tall in the back. There we go. I went back, got some more night crawlers. I'm just gonna fish this for a few hours and maybe hit another bite. Oh, another perch. Awesome. Nice solid eater. Sounds like there's some storms coming in. That's why I figured a small bullhead. If I'm lucky, the walleyes might turn on if. If a thunderstorm does come near me. Yeah, still a decent eater. 13 incher. Nice brown bullhead. Really started to slow down. I might uh, hit somewhere else soon. I knew it. I've been getting stripped like crazy. I knew there was big golden shiners here. <laughs> That's a really big one. Might be the same one I caught the other day. 10 inch or, or one I got the other day was 10 and a half. Real big golden shiners. One looks to be a solid 10. I well, we got something that isn't a shiner, I think. Those guys strip me so much, those golden shiners, with their little mouths. They have a hard time getting a number four hook in their mouth. Yep, little walleye. Just a baby. 15 incher. Chubby though. This is the last fish out of this spot. I'm gonna go hit some other spots, I think. Let's see here, a bullet or a perch. Can't tell. Nice little perch, awesome. Sweet. <laughs> I think this is the last fish. Hard to leave. Nice solid 12 incher. Beautiful. There we go. There's one. Awesome. Slip foot and some crappie. There we go. Oh, this spot's already been hammered today. Not gonna get a whole lot, probably. Back after dinner, 
First cast with a little curly tail jig. Feels like I got a rock bass. They might be in for the spawn now. That's a really good sign. Yeah, beautiful fat nine and a half incher. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a 16th ounce brown curly tail jig. Third cast, got another one. Pretty sure they're in. I'm a rare breed, I think, because I love catching rock bass. They're one of my favorite panfish, along with perch. Maybe bluegill, too, but oh, I really like all panfish, to be honest. Oh, nice seven-incher. Cool. I have a feeling I'm catching them right first day when they're starting to push in for the spawn. So I don't think I'm going to slam them tonight. I could be wrong. I don't think the numbers are here, though. But I do think I'm going to slam them at some point this week. It's going to be soon. It's like a five or six incher. Little guy. Alright, got a fish on a night crawler rig. I set up off to the side. All sorts of fish here. I was just reeling this in to move it over so I could fish for rock bass in this pocket. There's not a ton, but there's... They're definitely starting to push in, which is really cool. I don't know what I got here, a bullhead? Cool, I've never caught a bullhead in this spot. I was kind of hoping I would though. I got a... It's really weird. I got like someone else's line too. Whatever. I'll deal with that in a minute. And a nice little brown bullhead, 12 incher. Sweet. Just working this jig with a steady retrieve for now. It's usually my first go to retrieve for rock bass. It can be killer for rock bass numbers. Usually I have at least one night each year where I get around 70 rock bass just on steady retrieves of little jigs, little curly tails. It's a good solid 9, 9.5 incher. Probably 9.5. Real fat too. Man, these are some fat females I'm getting. Loaded with eggs. There's another dink. <laughs> Six incher maybe. I'm going to do this for a little while and then either go only for crappies or only for bullheads later. Until sunrise. Another real small one. That's like a five incher. That one feels a little bit better. One again, the more decent sized ones. Yeah, big enough. Another seven. Sweet. Another nice bullhead. A little better one. I keep catching that other line. There's some other line like someone like got snagged and left in the water. I'm gonna pull it in after this, but yeah, it's a nice, I don't know, 13 and a half, decent bullhead. This line I snagged that someone else left in the water has a fish on it, looks like. I don't know what it is though. Oh, it's another bullhead. Sweet. <laughs> I'll take it. Someone was bullhead fishing down here, I guess. It's like a, I don't know, 12, 12 and a half. That was a weird noise. Something on the slip float rig. Same as before, just working a minnow under it. Hooked in the mouth so it points down. Stays beneath the float. Another rock bass, six incher. Sweet. There we go, this guy hit real close to me. There's a decent one. Nice piggly female. Solid nine. That's what I'm looking for. More nines. Be more like it. You got good back straps on them. Nine, ten inches. And elevens. Probably a little smally. He just jumped. <laughs> yep, baby bass. That's funny. Oop, shoot. Popped right off there. Spunky. Six, seven inch smallmouth. Probably maybe seven or eight. Yeah. Another fish on the slip float. Feels like a 
small rock bass. Got a nice little pile of fish here, but I'm going to move on, I think, in hopes of something hotter. Yeah. On the small side, but got little back straps on them. They have a wide rib cage, so that's why I call it back straps. All the meat's like right up top near the spine and towards the tail. Couldn't resist just a few more casts till I move. I mean, I love rock bass. Oh, yeah, that's a good solid rock bass. Heck yeah, that's the best one of the night. That's double digits. <laughs> Solid 10 plus. He's a good honest 10, maybe 11 inch or at least 10, 10 and a half for sure. With a big gut too. That's a solid rock bass right there. I usually overguess fish a little bit when they're when they're real fat like these ones are, and underguess them when they're skinny. But I think that last one was still right around 10. Oh, this is probably a bass. That's why. Shoot. I was hoping you'd be a rock bass that size, a pounder. 13 inch smallie. Hmm. Another little guy right next to me here. Oh yeah, another dinky one. Five inches or so at best. I'm starting to get too many smallies. I'm going to move to the next spot I think right now. See if I can get on some crappy and then I don't know if they're all cleaned out. Maybe I'll go fish for bullheads. Yeah, another small bass with eggs, 12 incher. <laughs> I fell asleep the last few hours of the night waiting around for a bullhead. Looks like one hopped on. <sighs> Feels like it. Could be a sucker or walleye too, but it's probably a bullhead. That's all right. Yeah, one more bullhead. Smaller guy. Oh, settle, man. Settle. Chill out. Yeah, 12, 13 incher. There we go. Slip floating crappy again. I have a feeling I'm about to get kicked out of this spot by rude people again though like yesterday. I'm gonna make the most of it while I'm here. Good deal. Nice white crappie. Solid 10, 11 incher. Probably 11. There's one. All right. That's not a crappie. Oh, weird. It's a pickerel. <laughs> Cut the line. That was like a 17 incher, I think. <laughs> Slippery. Alright, change of depth. Got a hit right away. Another nice crappie. Awesome. Just a foot deeper. Nothing wrong with that. This spot's been getting so hammered. Some guy told 20 of his friends, and those are the people that have been pinching in on me each time I come. They already drove by, but they were leaving me alone this time, I guess. There's a hit. Awesome. Got the right depth. Catching fish. That's a nice one. Cool. Oh, it's just a big egg belly on it that's why I felt heavier same length but fat mama yeah solid 11 incher maybe pushing 12 probably 11 11 and a half I'd say there you go floats going down awesome once I started hooking these minnows on the dorsal I'm getting a much better hookup rate than the mouth and both of them are keeping the minnow pointed down it's a pretty good deal Awesome. Another nice crappie. Real beauty. That's another one right around the same length. 11, 12. Beauty. There we go. Trying to pull these guys in nice and gentle so I don't rip it out of their mouth. 
Yeah, barely hooked. Skin of the lip. Another nice one, 10 incher. Solid. Look at the flow. Look how it's dancing. Man, this spot is so hammered. These fish are acting so spooky. Just playing with the bait. Another nice one. Probably nine and a half, ten. Probably ten. My line got caught in the reel when I cast it and ended up in that tree. Missed my cast because of it, so I just switched out for a fixed float to save time. I might change back to a slip float though because I like that more. On the smaller side, but still a nice one. At least nine. There we go. That one took a while. It's really starting to slow down. Just floating these minnows right over the crappie's head. Thinning them out. Another solid one. Nine and a half, ten incher. Just looking for a nice quality pumpkin seed or bluegill quick. Try and round out this panfish slam. I moved over here. I'm just gonna do this for a little bit. I don't have a lot of worms. Let's see if I can get most of the types of panfish around here in a day again. It's a challenge, but I like it. It's fun. I'm pretty close at this point. That's why I'm looking for some nice sunfish. Yep, quality gill. That's what I'm looking for. I think I did it already. That's at least five of the types I got. That's a real nice gill. That's a good solid nine and a half incher, tall in the back. This was just a total hunch to come down here. I can't believe these these pumpkin seeds and bluegills are pushing in shallow already. There's a nice pumpkin seed. They're pushing in for the spawn. Beauty. Man, I love pumpkin seeds. They're so pretty. Now I wish I brought more worms. There's tons of pumpkin seeds right on the edge here spawning. Look at that beauty. That is a quality pumpkin seed. <laughs> wow. At least eight and a half. Tall in the back. Beauty. There we go. Another one right near here. Right near shore there. It's a bluegill. Bluegills are spawning too. Crazy. <laughs> it's like a seven and a half or an eight. Just fishing these beds near me with one pole while I launch another pole out there. I can't keep up with two of them. Crazy. Hot action. <laughs> and that's so awesome. Once in a while I have a real good hunch. Not very often though. Man, that is a pig of a gill. That is a nice one. Wow. That's a good solid nine and a half at least. Maybe more. Real nice gill. I swear I used to do this years ago and I never counted, but I'm pretty sure I used to get like, I don't know, 150 a day bluegill when they were betting. And they'd all be like nine and a quarter average. Some would be 10 inches, a few would be eight and a halfs, but mostly nine and a quarters. Just taking a little piece of night crawler and dragging it over their beds. That's a nice gill, tall in the back. Oh man, beauties man, males and females in full color. Look at that gill, it's all green. That is awesome, it's like green and pink and all sorts of weird colors. Normally they're like purple and blue. That one's green and pink. I seriously can't keep up with two poles. This is amazing. I'm gonna limit out like in no time and then probably leave because I don't want to catch them all today. I'll catch some more the rest of the week, but this is, this is way too easy. Taking candy from a baby, man. <laughs> Can't believe this. I missed betting season last year. I used to hit it every year. I missed it last year. It sucked. But this, this is amazing. I'm, I'm on a hot bed bite. There's one. I can't keep them off the hook, man. I can barely keep up with, with one pole, let alone two. It's that hot. I'm just reusing pieces like shreds of night crawlers that the other ones ate. They're so aggressive right now. It's a nice little gill, 
six inch or whatever. There's so many right next to me here. Looks like another another bluegill, solid one. Nothing wrong with that. Lippable, probably eight incher. Just getting these guys on tiny pieces of crawler, just enough to cover the hook. Another solid gill. That one's probably eight and a half, right around there, eight and three quarters. There you go, that was a hit. There he is. So many nice ones right beside me. Another beauty. Not a big one. The first couple were pretty big. I gotta measure them. They were pushing ten. You know, they're probably around nine and a half. These ones are still quality gills, around eight inches, you know. Hand sized gills still. I've only been here like a couple minutes. I'm sure you can imagine how many I used to get when I do this over a 12 hour day. Same exact thing. I swear it was like, it had to be triple digits. I never counted them, but I don't know, 150 maybe? I'd, I'd clean the whole shallow side out and just catch and release all of them. I'd do it over and over and over again because new schools would push in for the spawn depending on the week. Every single cast I'm getting one. Man. Seriously. Like just about every cast. Incredible. That's a beauty right there. There's a, there's a nine incher. Eight and three quarter. Eight and three quarters or nine for sure. Nice solid gill. Every single cast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're all beauties too. <laughs> Look at this one. Friggin' fat one. Solid nine and a half. Right in front of me, ten feet out. Just a school of them. This is incredible. I used to have some hot bedding action, but it wasn't quite this hot. It wasn't a fish every five seconds hot, you know. It's like a stick right in front of me. I got caught in that. The wind's blowing it around. Yeah, we have a fish. There we go. Another gill. Smaller one, but still decent. Seven incher, around there. Six and a half, seven. Man, I'm really kicking myself for not getting more worms on the way here. Never in my dreams would I have thought the spawn was this hot already. Like maybe a little bit, maybe a fish here or there, but it just seems way too early, especially for a late winter. But I'll take it. Another quick quality gill. This is what I like. All nine inches, man. Or a lot of them. Solid eight and a half to nine and a half. Like I can't even turn around after I cast in the water. They are full on spawn, man. So many gills packed in the shallows. Crazy numbers. I might get to CPR a trophy at this rate. Oh boy, that's a big one. There's a real solid gill. That one's at least nine and a half. Not a trophy, but real thick, nice bluegill. Look at him compared to my hand. Need two hands for him. It's so steady. So steady hot. Like this was in the water maybe two, three seconds and it started going away with it. Same as the last three fish. Oh my gosh, are all pigs too. Man, look at this bluegill. Gosh, that might be a 10 incher. Look at him compared to my hand. Huge bluegill. Massive. Just big belly too. What a beauty. That last one was nine and three quarters. So a nice solid gill, especially with the gut and the tall back and the thick back. Real nice gill. If I get any trophies, I'm definitely going to let them go though because keeping trophies isn't my style with any type of fish. But I'm going to take a, probably take a limit of these nice solid keeper range ones though. That's a good one. Eight, eight and a half in that range. I caught that first perch or whatever the first fish was yesterday afternoon less than 24 hours ago so at this point I've caught solid three quarters of the types of panfish around here and that's if you count black bullhead which really aren't in most of the places around here maybe in the river maybe but 
you know, I'm only missing like one or two panfish, black crappie and maybe black bullhead if you count that. Those are out of all the ones that normally live around here. So I'm, I've caught just about all of them in a day. I've done that, I've done close to that before, maybe like five out of eight or so, but never six out of eight. It's a pretty, pretty great variety. Great thing about this is if I clean all the ones out of this little area I'm casting it, or if someone else does or whatever, <laughs> there'll be more next week because everything happens in cycles in nature. It's how, it's how things um, don't get obliterated. One, a group will push in one week and another group will push in another week and if a cat catastrophe happens in one group, the next group will, uh, will cover it. Same thing with other animals. Just a skinnier one. Still respectable length, I guess. Eight incher. Nice, decent sized bluegill. Set up uh, the one rod that I just had a hook on for the, the close in sunfish as another three way slip sinker rig to wing it out there, ways. Because I think I got most of these guys on the beds near me. I don't feel like walking around. It's just, I don't have to. There's still so many out there, but slowing down a little bit that's why I'm setting up the second rig here I'm only getting like a fish a minute right now and before I was getting I don't know it was so fast before it was ridiculous the first 20 man this is just out of control <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it another one on the small side but still okay sized seven inches or so I'm so happy these guys are eating shreds. If I had to use like half night crawlers or hole or anything like that, because they're being picky, I, I wouldn't stand a chance. I have barely any left. Oh man, another bruiser. <laughs> they get pretty big when you can fit like just about two fingers in their, in their mouth. They're getting on the big side. They all have such tall backs right now too, that's awesome. And like thick, wide bellies. Just nice solid gills. Look at this double header. This is just unbelievable. I mean, I figured I'd have a day like this eventually on camera. So I used to have days like this all the time, but they're pretty close to this. Almost as hot as this. You know, 100 plus fish days easy. But I didn't think it would be so soon. And right after I got all those other ones, you know, last evening and last night, all those other types of panfish, just awesome. That's so funny. I was hand lining this in because I got a bird's nest on my HMX as the line's getting down there and this pumpkin seed ate it while I was bringing it in. Wow. <laughs> Decent pumpkin seed. Real tall in the back. Not very long though. Seven incher but these guys get so much thicker than the bluegills when they get long. Not that this one's long but like they just get a taller back and a thicker back. It's blowing loops in the line but these fish are so aggressive that it doesn't matter. They're pretty much not dropping it at all. And if they are, it, you just recast it and there's so many out there, another one takes it instantly. It's just, it's just loaded right now. Quality gills and some decent pumpkin seeds. Look at that gill. Solid eight and a half, but so thick. It's not just like egg mass, it really isn't. It's just, they're really thick across the back too right now. This is number 30, I think. Slowing down a little bit, but still looking good for a limit. All I gotta do is just move around a little if it gets too slow. I wanna get some more in close here because I only have a couple worms left. I need to turn that into 20 fish. They tend to strip you less when you're just hooking them instantly right on right on the edge. You can feel them tap. How deep they strip you a little more. I got all of them out of the shallows. I guess not. There's a bunch more right here now. It's like more moved in or something. I spooked them and now they're biting again. Real tall in the back, relatively short bluegill. These fish are just ridiculous. I'm using a, a like a, I don't know, like a, a shred of worm half the size of a Tylenol, barely covering the tip of a size 4 hook, and they're slamming it. So aggressive right now. Look at that shredder worm. It's a 
tiny piece. Cast it right there. Catch a bluegill. Look at that. <laughs> tiny piece of worm. Way too easy. Tiny guy picked it up. First dink I'm throwing back. It's like a little pot of decent bluegills right there. I see three of them in the water. There's a nice pumpkin seed right in front of me, but she's real shy. I've seen a hook more than once now. Gun in her face. That one's talking pretty good. Well, he's not that big. It's pretty wide though. Got a belly. Another decent one. I wish I didn't lose my polarized sunglasses the other day. I could see them following me up a little better. There's, I don't know, maybe barely six inches. There we go, another one in close. Another gill. That's like a seven. Another little guy picked it up right on the edge there. Tiny gill. Shoot. Another tiny gill. <laughs> Finally doing this the right way. Switching to a size 6 Aberdeen for these fish closer in. Yeah, it's probably like a, I don't know, six, six and a half. Small guy. Got one from out there a ways. It's still shallow out there, it's just a different area where they're bedding in. They'll cover a whole swath as they'll like get more shallow. It'll stay deeper there and more shallow there. And they'll cover the whole swath all the way across from bank to bank bedding. So with a three-way slip sinker rig I can cover a lot more and hit new fish. There's a nice gill. I haven't caught one that heavy in a few minutes. Decent eight and a half. Thick. And pretty windy. Got one of those gills right on the edge. Cool. Another like six or seven. Another one of these little guys. Yeah, just a dinky little four or five inch. Walking over a few steps, seeing if I can get into a new pot of decent ones. Looks like it's working. First cast, sweet. Another eight or so, pushing eight, seven and a half, eight. Tall in the back though, decent fish. Got 42 filetable ones at this point. Getting close, all I need is 50. This one might barely make it. It's at least seven, or seven and a half. On the small side, but uh, run it out of worms. I got three worms left, man, or something like that. I'm just splitting them into the tiniest bits. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice pumpkin seed. Oh, heck yeah. Look at the mouth on that. And rattle your finger around in that mouth. It's so tall and round. It's like a full circle. <laughs> I think that, that might be a hybrid, maybe. Either a pure pumpkin seed or a pumpkin seed bluegill hybrid. <laughs> so round, though, man. Such a round fish. Wow. Yep, there's one. Another decent one, I guess. Good enough. I think that's 45, maybe. About as small as I'd like to take it, for sure. Definitely on the small side. And got some serious gusts. This guy's tugging. Must be a decent one. Oh, yeah. Big pumpkin seed. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Big, tall in the back, nine inch pumpkin seed right there. They're right around nine, eight, three quarters, nine, but super thick. Pumpkin seeds always tend to get thick when they get a little longer. Thicker than bluegills. And taller on the back usually. Man. All the way down from my fingers to way past my wrist. There we go. This guy was really shallow. 
Looks like I'm not gonna run out of worms before I get what I came here for. That's a good deal. Oh yeah, another decent bluegill. I like getting the ones deeper, but I need a good solid, you know, at least a quarter piece of worm for that. And I didn't want to waste too much worm getting the deeper ones. The deeper ones are averaging a little bigger than the edge ones though. Even though there still are some decent ones on the edge. And there's a whole nother pot even more shallow. I'm not surprised at all. But forgot to think about that. They'll be pushing real shallow, less than a foot. I didn't really start casting over there yet. <laughs> there's gonna be all sorts of fish over there. All sizes, all new pods in that spot. I haven't even touched yet. He's got a little shoulder on him. When they start to like feel like a kite, that's when they're big, I think. Like the tens I used to get were like flying a kite, bending the rod all the way over and they'd serpentine side to side like crazy. Just use like their surface area to fight against you. Another decent one, I guess. Eight inch or barely. This guy's a decent one and he's number 50 going in the bucket. That'll be my limit. I'd love to stay here all day and just, I don't know, catch a hundred plus. But, oh yeah, he's a nice one, nice gill. Solid, pushing eight and a half, nine. And, you know, I'd love to stay here all day and catch a whole bunch of them, but I gotta go home and take care of these fish I've been catching. So, I'll come back again and I'll catch more. And I'll bring more worms too, I really don't have enough worms to keep fishing this time. Been keeping these guys on ice. Thought I'd lay them out real quick and then put them back on ice just to show you. Um, these are the fish I've been catching the last 24 hours. First I got some perch, then I went out, got a couple crappie, hit the night bite, fell asleep most of the night, got some bullheads and some rock bass. Perch were up to 13 and a half, crappie were up to 11 and a half, rock bass were up to, I don't know, 10. Um, the bullheads are up to like 15, 16 ish. And then, uh, Tried to complete a panfish slam, went out the uh, next morning and uh, ended up limiting out on real quality bluegill and uh, pumpkin seed sunfish. Just barely had enough worms to limit out so I didn't be picky and only take nine inches. But got a few sevens in there, got a lot of nine inches in there, got some very close to ten inches. One that's like a tenth off and all real thick, big shoulders on them. Beautiful fish. You know, not a crazy number of fish, probably 70 something. That's not insane for panfish, but in terms of variety, I have almost every type of panfish around here I caught in the last 24 hours. I got rock bass, white crappie, yellow perch, yellow bullhead, yellow bullhead, the rest are brown bullhead, and bluegill and pumpkin seed sunfish and hybrid sunfish. So I'm only really missing black crappie and black bullhead. And black bullheads aren't even in most of the waters around here. So really I'm just missing black crappie almost every single type of panfish I caught. So in terms of a slam, like if you think of a slam in hunting, where you go and um, tag every type of turkey over a decade or something like that, um, I'd call this a slam in panfishing. You know, it, it's challenging to get every type all in the same 24 hour period. But great bunch of fish. I'm about to go fillet them and then share them with my friends. Long night ahead of me. I'm gonna get these packed up and nice right away.